All right, welcome everybody. You may notice I am in a new kitchen this week. I have a friend with me. You guys hear me talk often about the Angie Method and most of my recipes either A, come from there or B, we've worked on together. But I have today Angie herself from the Angie Method. Hello everyone, really excited to be here and to make one of my favorite recipes with M. I'm so excited too. Okay, so tell me, I'm gonna be your sous chef. And yes. What is it that we're making today? Okay, today we are gonna make chocolate covered strawberry healthy cheesecake. And only one slice of this cheesecake, it's an eight slice pie, is 123 calories, which if you go look up a label for normal cheesecake, it's like 500 to 600 calories. So with a few swaps that we'll make today, Still gonna taste good. It's gonna have a really nice texture, like creamy, silky, but it's gonna save you on a lot of calories. So that's I'm, what we're gonna do. I'm super excited about that because most of the time, things out there that are healthy for you don't exactly taste good. So you can promise us that this tastes really good. I promise you, it tastes <laughs> really good. Now, does it taste like the real deal cheesecake? Not exactly, but I don't think you'll miss out on that texture or flavor when you give it a try. Okay, well let's get started. Let's see what these ingredients are that you can swap out. Okay, so Em is my sous chef today. So I'm just gonna walk her through. Well, you've never made it, so I'm gonna put it. I've never made it, never ate it. So just with you guys, brand new. All right, three eggs. So you're gonna go ahead and crack those. Whoa. Okay, so what's next? Okay, three tablespoons, and we're gonna use a sugar substitute. So this is one of the ways we're saving on calories. This one is like a monk food sweetener, and you can get this on Amazon, but this is zero calories, so that's how we're gonna do that. This texture is just like regular sugar. Can you see that? Yes, it does. it's like very granular closer. compared to the stevia. Here, we're gonna yeah. go like this, you can really see. So you and can see that? Correct me if I'm wrong, it's got less, it's all pretty all natural, it's just yep. monk fruit. Yeah. Yep, yep. All right, so you're gonna do three tablespoons of this, and that is gonna be part, oh my gosh, I wasn't in the frame, sorry. <laughs> That's gonna be part of your sweetener. All right, okay, now this is where the strawberry flavor is gonna come in, in the cheesecake. We're gonna use an extract for this. So today we're just using a strawberry extract. I like to do three teaspoons of that. Oh, strawberry extract. Yeah. What's how many? Three. Three. I hope you have enough for three. If not, I have an extra one. <laughs> so we'll figure that out. You make this a lot. <laughs> we do. I like to do raspberry chocolate, strawberry chocolate. Sometimes I'll do more of a vanilla version with like uh, almond extract and little mini chocolate chips. You could do lemon. Lots of different ones. Oh, lemon. Yeah. I love, love a good lemon. All right, okay. now give that a good whisk. Okay. And then we're going to move on to the next part. Yes. Okay, now, okay, what's next? This is actual chocolate devil's food cake mix. This oh is God. three tablespoons of that. So you're gonna add that in there for the first bit of the chocolate flavor and a little bit more sweetness. I know everybody knows what that is. This is the good stuff, y'all. And the second part of the chocolate is gonna come from sugar-free chocolate instant pudding mix. You wanna make sure it's instant. So we're gonna, I'll go ahead and open that up for you, and you're gonna add the whole package into it. Awesome. This is essentially so low calorie that, do you have one once a day, once a week, once a month? What, what do you do? For the actual cheesecake? If you make it, yeah. Oh, well, this a is- A slice, a slice. Okay, this is like a weekly rotation for me. And again, it makes eight slices. I'll be honest, because it's only 120 calories, my serving is usually a quarter of the pie. Oh, so I like, like it. 260. But if you think about that, like if you go find something that is 120 calories, a candy bar in itself can be what, 230, 250 calories? Right. And two slices of this, which is huge, and it's a lot of protein and really low sugar, like that's only 260 calories. It's kind of a win win because it's going to keep you fuller longer and it's way less calories. Okay. The last ingredient for like the cheesecake itself, and then we're going to do an add in, is Greek yogurt. Now, you can use any percent fat Greek yogurt, but for this one, we are gonna use a zero percent fat one, again, to save on some calories. And not to mention, if you make this a couple times a week, this gets pretty thick here, so I'm working my arm muscles. <laughs> I'm, I'm getting, working in the sweat, you guys. You're doing good. <laughs> Just looking nice and thick and nice and mixed together so far. And we are gonna do two tablespoons of the mini chocolate chips. Now, you can use regular ones, but I just feel like, again, when we're talking about volume, 
the mini ones, you can have more of them throughout the cheesecake. So yeah. we're gonna do two tablespoons of that, and Look. that's the last bit of the chocolate. Look, you guys, she keeps these in a mason jar too. I swear, you can have good tasting things and be in a fit body, we, we promise. Mm -hmm. Angie is the queen of any recipe out there. You can reinvent and make it with healthier options. Yeah. So. And so why I got into health and fitness, I was determined to find a way to eat sugar every day and for it to still fit in my goals and to feel good with it. So I love it. I love it. Okay, okay. so now it's nice and mixed. Yeah, so let's get this out of the way. Let's bring in your nine inch pie plate and you do want to spray it with any type of cooking spray that you have. So Em's going to do that first. Okay, so notice too, we are saving calories on the crust. There is no graham cracker crust on this one and it's still going to taste just as good. You uh, you really won't miss it. If you are wanting some type of like crumble or crunch, that's the beauty of making it like this. And then you can add on the amount you'd want as a topper. So you can really monitor the amount that you're using. So let's say that M pulled this out and we serve her up a piece and she wanted to add like some crumbled ginger snap cookies, right? Or some graham cracker cookies. You could totally do that. I love that, just a hint of it. Now, if somebody out there was like, okay, crust is a non-negotiable for me, I've got to have that. Are there some better options? Okay, I would just buy the already made <laughs> Keebler or like whatever brand graham cracker crust because again, you know exactly how much you're gonna have in the crust per slice. And you'll probably just add on another 50 calories. It really wouldn't be that much. So you wanna like pop the bubbles out of it. Okay. So you just kind of, It'll more evenly distribute it, so you'll get, I'm just gonna smooth it out a little bit. Yeah, okay, yeah, do it. You'll get an easy, like a more even bake on it. So we're gonna put it in the oven, M. I have the, the oven preheating for you at 350. It's gonna take between 30 and 35 minutes, and I say that because every oven is a, like slightly different. Mine generally takes 33 minutes perfectly, and I know that when I start to see the cracks on the top. So we'll put it in there, and then we'll show them what it looks like when it's done, but should I bring it up close? Yeah, bring it up close really quick. You can see it's all smoothed out. We have popped off the bubbles and the cracks, and it's going in the oven at 350. Yep. All right, all right. let's do it. We had made one the night before um, so that we could show you guys because it's baking for 30 minutes. But here is the final result. You can see that slice was how many calories? 123 calories. I mean, that Not might as well be free. Right, right. <laughs> you can top it with whatever you want. You can change the flavors out to make whatever kind of flavors you want. And then you get to enjoy. So I'm gonna taste it. It's your first reveal. Oh my God. Isn't it good? Oh my God. Here's the other thing. I like to eat that for breakfast. And I like to have it for snacks because it really, the, most of it's made with eggs and Greek yogurt. So it really is a healthy alternative. And that's the cool thing. When you're being mindful throughout the day and you know what you're eating, you can have things like this as a snack or breakfast or lunch. Absolutely. But you can follow me, Emily Mitchell, on Emily Mitchell HTX at Instagram. And Angie, where can they find you? I'm on Instagram as well at Angie.Lingzo or I have a YouTube channel called The Angie Method. So you can follow me there. Thanks so much.